Today we are gonna go pick strawberries. I'm really excited. We usually do it about once a year around this time. Um, so I'm excited to get some fresh strawberries to bring home. And then later I'm gonna do a little bit of gardening or planting some seeds. And I say that loosely because I'm not a gardener. I am just learning about this stuff, but I'm excited to start planting some little seedlings and see if I get any growth. Um, and then later I'm going to make a little sweet treat with the strawberries that we bring home. So. Come along with me on a fun spring day. Take my hand and hold it tight. Look at the paintings, I'll be your guide. Don't stop looking in my eyes. After we got home, I got ready to head out and start my gardening. So the first thing that I want really to do is plant my flowers, but this planter that I got um, comes with these little inserts, but they don't have any drainage. So I'm going to use these that I got from Target. And put them in here. The only problem is my herbs are already hanging out here. And I need to repot these because mint needs more room. And my basil, I don't know if it needs more room or not, but I'm gonna, of course, we're gonna give it more room. So let me repot these first. Pots, I'm going to try some vegetables. I'm gonna do some broccoli, tomato, and lettuce, and we'll see how this goes. So like I said, this container is going to be for some flowers, so I'm going to do um, some wildflowers, some cosmos, and I know chamomile is technically an herb, but I think it is really pretty little flower, so I'm going to go ahead and plant these and pot them in there. So these are bell peppers that I grew from bell pepper seeds. Um, and this worked out really well. It's an old strawberry container. Um, and when they were germinating, I could just close this and then it created like a greenhouse effect. So that's a good tip if you want um, an easy way to germinate your seeds. So I mentioned in the intro that I am not a gardener. Um, in the past, I was killing absolutely every plant that came in my possession but I have been doing a lot of research, but I also got this app that has helped me a lot. This is obviously not sponsored, but I wanted to share it because it has helped tremendously. It's called Planta, and what it does is you add the plant that you have, and then it has all the information for it, and it reminds you when to water it. And I think there's a paid version that'll remind you like when it needs fertilizer or when it needs to be repotted and all that, but my main thing is just either overwatering or underwatering my plants. So I get a reminder personalized off of the type of plant that it is and what it needs, and it is fantastic. I think it is saving all of my plants' lives right now. <laughs> um, one thing though, I think it is a little bit new, so they don't have like outdoor plants. So I don't think that they would have like, you know, if you're growing carrots or tomatoes or something like that, I don't think that they have like the capabilities for that, but all like house plants they, they have on there basically. So I just wanted to share that because that app is, is amazing. So we are going to make 
some strawberry pastries. Um, my oven is preheating. I have set out my puff pastry to thaw, hopefully. It's a little bit cold, but I'm sure that it's fine and workable. I'm very excited, these look really good. Um, I'm going to put the recipe in the description box, but you can follow along with me while I make it. Butterflies are floating like your red hair in the breeze. Spring awakening, new love takes me into lilac. Beside me, whisper softly your sweet empathy. Crisp reflections on the water of you close to me. if you could subscribe to my channel and let me know if you make that strawberry recipe until next time